Hi guys, my name is Arian and today I'm going to show you how you can use the Retouch Pro panel. So first thing first, what we're gonna need here is to clean this picture. So I'm gonna start with the cleaning tool and proceed then with frequency separation on this Pro panel. So this is a fast clean like basic clean and we go with frequency separation. So first we're gonna need to use uh, low and work on low. So for, for the low we can use uh, dodging and burning or mixer brush. I usually prefer the mixer brush because it's uh, easy fast to work with. As you can see, the mixer brush uh, makes skin tones, highlights, shadows, everything on the on the picture. It's more easy to work. Uh, Uh, this pro panel, uh, this retouch pro panel, I just got it from a friend and it's really helpful. It has too many features that are good for retouching. So I prefer you guys to go check it. Link on below. use it it's a really helpful pro panel it's very recommended by me so if you wanna check it link on below link on description so here we are working with a mixer brush as you can see guys before and after. Uh, we just clean the picture. It's more like a mixing colors, not a clean but uh, it makes things really good. It smooths the heart. Highlights, uh, dead skin tones, things like that. As you can see, we can even work on lips here. It's really good even for lips, not just for the skin tones. It's more like for everything, I don't know. I use frequency separation for years now and it's been really helpful. For everything, not just for touching beauty things and stuff, but for cleaning, changing backgrounds, everything. I think we're done with the low here, and we can start working on high. As you can see, guys, I don't even touch the textures, and it's as you can see. It's really really good. So we can start working on texture of a clone tool. It's more good for the texture. We can definitely use uh, even the spot healing brush 
or maybe he went first. It's not something you, you can do, it's it's really really helpful and faster to work with. So I hope you like it. So I'm using the Vacuum in Tools Pro. Uh, it's, I'm not using a mouse. So maybe you can see some faster moves here. For the texture, uh, in frequencies operation, we want uh, to keep it original or I don't know it to be clean, to be to be as good as we can keep it, no to, to destroy it. Because frequency separation is a misunderstanding technique to to many 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 people because of they've been watching uh, tutorials, I don't know, like not properly tutorials. Frequency separation is a good technique to work with in beauty. Not just in beauty, and for several different kind of pictures, not just for beauty, it's, it's good for everything. But people have been misunderstanding the frequency separation technique and that's why uh, too many hate it. I don't know, they use uh, dodging and burning. It's not like, uh, it's not that dodging and burning is a bad technique, but uh, in frequency separation, if you use it uh, properly, you can be really 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 good on it so I will definitely recommend to use frequency separation with dodging and burning not without it because you can dodge and burn of course but with frequency separation you're gonna get uh, faster results See what we have done here. It's just a clean picture. As I told you before, uh, you can use a clean healing brush, but uh, in some parts, some areas, uh, you're gonna need to use a clone tool because it's. <coughs> It's more good as you can see here I, I'm working with cleaning uh, tool I don't remember his name spot healing brush oh my god I've been using Photoshop for, for years now and I don't even remember the tools their name because they tools <laughs> you can see them even in my dreams sometimes Sometimes I'm even retouching in my dreams. I've been working on a retouch for years now. It's like my full-time job. I hope you guys that my English is understandable so you can learn from me. I hope it's not bad. So you can see what we have done here. It's really really fast to work with. Another thing we want here is uh, dodging and burning. So let's work on it. Here's the dodge, here's the burn. So I will use the brush tool. I will let the pasta to be like 50, flow 15, smoothing like 12, that's good. We use the white brush. Oh, that's too much because I'm using egg on. For the touch, we're gonna go like soft we don't want to create like hard 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 highlights we want to keep them naturally as far as we can go to the 
remember use it slightly use it properly you know because if you use it like fast or too much it's gonna destroy the whole process it's not something you can handle either but it's good to keep things as you can see touch and burn it's a really really good thing to do in the picture and here's the before and after of the entire process we merge this we go to the eyes we choose iris we choose whiten we choose Wayne's removable and final touch and explain you guys everything what to do just click here the iris is like uh, highlighting the iris as you can see and brushing over the iris it's a really really useful thing to do as you can see we just brighten the iris so we'll work on the another eye yeah we'll do this in both After the iris is done, we can work on the whites. As you can see, let me explain what this one does. Uh, it's like a, it's more like remove the redness from the eyes we have and make it a little bit wider. If you think it's too much, you have to lower that best day. I'm, I'm thinking like 4 to 5 is good. Yeah, it's 4. And the waste removal, we worked on that with brush, as you can see. It removes the wings we have on the eyes and, and disappear them, as you can see. And if you think it's too much, uh, you can always lower the opacity to 50. I usually use 50 because it's like a for the eye details. We work with brush. I mean, like most of the things we do in Photoshop are with a brush, so that's it. So this is more like sharpening the eyes, as you can see. So that's all about the eyes. We can make this group. As you can see, we have done so, so much work here. One more thing is lips. We can add the lipstick here. Before adding the lipstick, we have to brush it on so we can change the colors of the lips. So first thing first, we're gonna need to brush on the layer mask. You can use it, even the pen tool, to work it correctly, or maybe faster way. I don't know, but you can use it the brush tool. As I said before, the brush tool is for everything. Oh, stick.
and I think we're good here. We just created the uh, mask or the lips. And here you can change the lipsticks so fast. It's so good. I really love this panel, man. It's so easy to work with. I like this one. If you think it's too much, you can always load the opacity. And here you have it. One more thing is whiten teeth. We can always whiten teeth with our yellow. And yellow color because of the when we shoot outdoor, uh, we get this kind of look because of the nature. Here you can see the whiten. Uh, this is obviously too much. We can load at 40. And that's good. As you can see, before and after. Before and after. We have done a great job here, guys. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if you really, really want. If you really like this uh, Retouch Pro panel, link is down below, go check it, I hope you enjoy it, it's in, I don't know, 6 uh, different languages, it's Italian language, it's English, French, Spanish, Dutch, and even Russian, so it's a really really use, useful uh, panel, so I, I would definitely recommend you guys to go and check it. I hope you like it. There are many many things like face shaping, there are some clothes fix, there are presets for the different kind of preset looks, colors, there are some water effects, some overlays like sun, snow, rain, dust, everything. Uh, there are some split turning here and final touches like finish uh, make it grainy blur some background changes so to save the photo things and stuff so i hope you guys like this tutorial i must say and i see you guys in the next time